you know, there's a huge difference uh, between dying and not being told what's wrong with you and being gaslighted. I am breathing often seven times a minute. Respiratory rate, breaths per minute for an adult asleep, from what I'm reading, should be 12 to 20 times a minute. You should be breathing 12 to times, 12 to 20 times a minute while you're asleep. I'm breathing seven times a minute while I'm awake. So when I'm asleep, I'm breathing even less. I'm in deep trouble here. And likely I am, you know, dying from the Chiari malformation. My respiratory drive is impaired. It's so impaired that I can't sustain sleep. But there's a huge difference being told you have a disease and you're going to die. You have a high risk of dying in your sleep or, you know, we could give you surgery, but we're not going to give you surgery. And you just eventually, I mean, it's hard to hear that news. Eventually, you're going to make peace with it, whether eventually you're going to come to accept it, whether that takes months or, you know, it takes a long time. It, it mentally takes a long time to accept that you're going to be stepping out of this life, everything that you know which largely I I have lost my my life that I knew <clears throat> my life that involved you know being active and socializing and having friends and family and driving and entertainment and dancing and going out for drinks and going out for coffee and tending to my flowers and my garden and my yard and shoveling snow and mowing my lawn and all of that is gone. My life is gone. And dating and meeting new people and driving places and it's all gone. All of that is gone. But I have been gaslighted the whole time. Thinking and believing and having everybody tell me I'm going to get better as I'm losing strength and my breathing is torture. Everybody else is gaslighting me because the doctors are gaslighting me. People here have gaslighted me because the doctors have gaslighted me. It's a far, far different, peaceful scenario when you're told, you know what, you've got this condition, there's not much we can do. You're in a country where I'm, I, I, I don't understand what's happening here. I don't understand why I can't get the care I need. The solution would be the surgery, which is very costly. I'm not being offered that. I don't have the money to fly to the States. I don't have the wherewithal. I don't have a passport. I'm, I'm ill. I can't get myself to Walmart. I, I'm ill. I'm weak. I'm sick. I don't sleep. I'm in pain. It's a far different scenario to be told the truth and just make peace with your options. If there is no options, you eventually, you, you make peace. You throw up your hands and you surrender 
and and you do what you can with what you've got and try to live the rest of your life out or but to be gaslighted into your grave gaslighted continually gaslighted and I can see how and why there has been confusion for many doctors along the way. Two and a half years ago, I looked like I was 35 years old and I looked like I had the world by the tail. I was sleeping three hours a night for seven years. Literally, my life was completely gone, but it didn't look like that when you looked at me. And this doesn't show up in blood work. It, it might show up in blood work at the end when my my body is in crisis, my oxygen is low. Um, uh, it's starting to show up because I'm years and years into this. But there are, you know, so many ways that I've been lied to and gaslighted. And, you know, for this respiratory drive to be so impaired, but no one has told me that. No one. They will avoid the language. They will avoid telling you the truth. They just, I don't know what the expectation is. They expect you to be gobbling up psych drugs, painkillers, sleeping pills. Even with the sleeping pills, I don't sleep. I was sleeping one to one or two hours a night on clonazepam and zopiclone. Powerful, powerful medications. <laughs> I think the expectation is for me to end my life. I think for no one to be offering me to, to sit down and have a an adult conversation and say, and I don't even know if this is the truth about respiratory drive, but I'm guessing a conversation would go something like, you know, your respiratory drive is heavily impaired presumably from brainstem compression, from your Chiari malformation. And there's nothing we can do. And there's nothing we can give you to sleep. Because, and I know this. I know this only from my own experience and from doctors overdosing me again and again. We can't give you any sleeping pills because that will further reduce your respiratory drive and there's no way, way for us to help you and you will continue to, to decline or possibly and I don't know this to be true either but I'm guessing possibly when it, things get bad enough we will put you on a, resp a respirator If that's the reality, I need to know that. I need to know the truth. I need to know. So is it a lack of courage or is it a continual, is it a lack of courage for a doctor to tell me the truth? Or is it a continual gaslighting so that I am not demanding this expensive surgery? Because I'm in Canada. And the medical system is different. Is it to stop me from demanding a, an expensive surgery? Or I don't know what the strong objective here is to be continually gaslighting someone right to the point of their death, denying proper care and denying knowledge, like denying offering the patient knowledge. It's way easier to be told the truth and you're you're going to die. This is degenerative. Eventually, you're going to have a heart attack or a stroke because you can't sustain life with sleeping two hours a night, 365 days a year, except, you know, once every two months, you might sleep four hours. You're going to eventually, your body's going to break down. You're going to have a heart attack or a stroke. 
or eventually end up on a respirator. Why can't I don't know what the drive, the strong drive to lie is all about. They know my respiratory is heavily impaired, but no one will tell me the truth. And, you know, I don't, I'm not, see, this is what gaslighting does to you. This, look at me right now. My, everything that I'm going through, this is a person being gaslighted. This is a person tremendously confused about being lied to. And and that is the goal, to put me in this mental state. That is the goal of the gaslighting, to keep me guessing. Why do you want to achieve this state state in a in a person, in a patient? What's what's the objective? For me not to find out the truth. Why is there that strong objective? Is it so I don't demand surgery? 